Hello everyone, my name is Catherine. I am a CRLA Master Level Tutor for the Bristol Community College Online Learning Commons. One of the most important tools for academic success is time management. The recent switch to remote learning has made this tool even more important. This presentation will go over time management and what it includes. First, we look at what time management is. It is using time effectively. This is usually done by using schedules, time blocks, calendars, and lists. Time management increases productivity by limiting distractions, making you aware of due dates, and using short-term goals. Awareness of due dates is extremely important in an online environment because we no longer get the in-person reminders during class. This means if you're learning remotely, you should get in the habit of looking ahead a few weeks so you know if you have any big assignments coming up. There are some general recommendations for how to effectively manage your time. The first recommendation is to avoid multitasking and distractions. A recent study on time management found that multitasking decreases productivity. Avoiding distractions can be hard, especially where everyone is home right now. There are apps such as Rescue Time, Toggle, Freedom, or Keep Me Out that will help you identify and reduce online distractions. Another recommendation is to set up a workspace for doing your homework. There's another video that goes into this in more depth. The last and possibly most important recommendation is to use the Pomodoro model for studying. This model alternates periods of working with breaks. For 25 minutes, you focus on whatever task you're completing, then take a five minute break. After the third or fourth session of 25 minutes, you get to increase your break to 15 minutes. Now we look at some recommendations for you. The main one is to know yourself. When do you work the best? What can you realistically accomplish in the time frame? And what do you want to work on? If you work best at night, use that to make your schedule. If you work best in the morning, use that. It is also important not to overwhelm yourself or give yourself impossible tasks. Remember to be realistic. It is important for you to find a balance, not only with your classes, but with everything. You shouldn't be spending all your time doing classwork. You need to think of yourself and give yourself breaks. You should also try and get seven to eight hours of sleep a night, so your brain has time to recharge for the next day. This also means delegating and saying no occasionally. Do not take on too much at once. Another recommendation is to identify what distracts you and what do you waste your time on. This could be texting, apps that you like, maybe you have a pet that requires attention. Try to limit these during the times when you are working on your coursework. You should plan to check in daily. This doesn't mean you do work every day for that class, but check in to see if there's any updates or changes to due dates. The next recommendation is, to, is not for everyone and is to wake up early. It is a good practice because it allows for more time in the day. However, if you are not a morning person, just move your hours to later in the day. Now, thankfully, this does not mean that you start working the minute you are awake. And the last recommendation is an important one. If you accomplish something, reward yourself. Have your favorite meal, watch a show you like, rent a movie you've been dying to see. Part of time management is planning ahead. In this slide, we look at using a schedule for this purpose. Being online and not having specific time to meet for class can be hard. There are two types of online or remote learning, synchronous and asynchronous. In synchronous learning, you would meet virtually for class at a specific or specified time. In asynchronous learning, the material is posted for you to look over when it is best for you. If you are taking an asynchronous class, you should set aside time where you are in class. This is time you devote to that class for reviewing materials such as lectures or readings. During this time, you should silence your phones, notifications, emails, and focus just on that class. When class time is up, reconnect and respond to missed messages and emails. You should follow a routine each day. This will integrate it into your life so that it becomes a habit. You should use your breaks wisely, not in terms of your five minute breaks from the Pomodoro model, but unexpected breaks. This means if you find you have an extra 20 minutes you didn't expect, make sure you have access to your textbook or some other resource to read a little more. Keep in mind if you are in best in the morning or at night. Don't try to force yourself to be a morning person if you're not. Part of planning ahead is to make lists. You should make daily to-do lists. These lists include everything you need to get done in the day, not just your coursework. There are a few apps such as Trello, AnyDo, Wonderlist, and Evernote that can be used to make these lists. Tasks on the list should be prioritized and contain three to four large tasks. You should start with assignments that have earlier due dates. In prioritizing, you should also consider what you're in the mood for. 
If you're feeling more creative, try doing an assignment that requires creativity, such as writing. You should start with smaller tasks before moving to larger ones. If you're faced with a large task, you should break that task up into smaller ones, making it less overwhelming to approach. When you finish a task, you should try and mark it as complete. This gives you a feeling of accomplishment and rewards you for your hard work done. This has been a lot of information, so let's go over what you need to succeed. For big assignments, you should set short-term goals and set milestones for moving towards that goal. Complete assignments by their due date. Typically, you want to complete them three days before they are due. Studying for exams requires keeping up to date on course material and making sure you understand the material. This is the time for you to take charge of your education. You're responsible for a lot, and this can be scary. The most important thing you need to know to succeed is to speak up. If you need help, Ask. Talk to your professor. Sometimes they can give extra credit or extend due dates. You can also contact our tutors at the online learning commons to book a virtual appointment. To contact the online learning commons, you can email us at onlinelc at bristolcc.edu or call 774-357-4013 and leave a message. You could also talk to someone through the chat box and access BCC under College Resources and in the Learning Commons section. The information from this presentation was obtained from the references listed on this slide. If you would like to know more about time management, contact the online Learning Commons and book an appointment to meet with a tutor.